Hey there, Carrie from the Writing Center. In this quick video, I'm just going to quickly kind of review the overall formatting guidelines of a references page in APA. So on the left, you can see kind of a sample references page for an APA paper on scoliosis. Um, and this is really to give you kind of a visual of what this will look like. But a couple important things to remember is the references page in an APA research project should appear on its own page and it should appear on the next new page following the conclusion of your essay or your paper. It should have the word references centered at the top of the page and the word references should be in bold. The entire page, much like your paper, should be evenly double spaced. There shouldn't be any blank lines of space like in between each reference reference entry, there are no extra blank lines, just evenly double spaced. But what the reference page does need to utilize is this format called hanging indent. And hanging indent is something that you can have automatically added within Word, and I recommend that you do that. And you can see, if we look at this, what hanging indent does is it indents the second and any subsequent lines of each reference entry. So we can visually see where one reference entry begins and ends and where the next one starts. If we don't use hanging indent, all of this is at the left margin and it's really hard to see which are which sources. They all kind of blend together. And then lastly, uh, we want to organize the entries on our page alphabetically. So they should appear in alphabetical order based on whatever the first piece of information in the reference entry is. So based on the first letter of the first author's last name or based on the first letter of the organizational author, that's how we organize our references page. I hope that this is helpful. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.